Welcome back to Fire Chicken Review, a channel where we like to focus on custom gaming products that you can get for some of your favorite games out there. Today I wanted to talk about my favorite deck in Keyforge, Ivy Ruby Drag Dreamer. And you may have heard me talk about this deck in previous uh, reviews that I've uh, done. But imagine if you could take your favorite Keyforge deck and turn it into an awesome playmat. Well, that's what's just happened. As you can see in front of you here, this is actually a awesome playmat and it, there's going to be a strong uh, bias since it's a, a playmat featuring my favorite uh, deck. Uh, this was actually a collaboration of uh, a review that I wanted to do with a uh, artist uh, named uh, David Livens and a uh, Etsy store called uh, Destiny Inc. Uh, both uh, this uh, artist and Destiny Inc., uh, the company there, they like to focus a lot on making custom products uh, for a game that you may have heard of called uh, Destiny, hence the name Destiny Inc., uh, and that's uh, for Star Wars Destiny, uh, a fancy flight uh, game, which is fantastic if you've never played it. Anyhow, when I reached out uh, to David uh, and talking to him, uh, he was interested in uh, Keyforge because it's a very... Uh, nice looking uh, game, very whimsical, and uh, very much has art that uh, he can take his own interpretation and uh, make some fun uh, stuff with. So I reached out to him and I said, hey, you, you may want to look at uh, the community and see if there's anything that you would like uh, to do. So he did uh, just that and he designed a, a few uh, things and uh, the community was uh, really appreciated. And uh, so one of the things he wanted to do was uh, make uh, play mats because that's what he's done for some of the other games that he's uh, worked on art wise and uh, for a people to be able to buy his uh, prints and choose a company to uh, print off with on the destiny ink uh, part uh, i'll talk about my play mat that you can see slightly above uh, there it's a company that i've uh, reached out to before uh, because they make awesome mats and i'm going to show you some of the stuff here getting right into uh, the mat itself uh, I apologize a little bit, um, free holding uh, my camera today just so that you can get the, the full uh, mat image here. But uh, the mat is awesome. So it has all of the typical stuff that you would want in a nice uh, play mat for your games. Uh, some additional benefits uh, to it though. One of the, the first uh, things uh, to mention is that if you look up uh, close here is, uh, there we go. You, you'll see that this is actually a sewn edges. So uh, sometimes you get uh, mats that you'll win in different uh, games, even in Fantasy Flight games, where it doesn't have that sewn edge. It just has, uh, sometimes it can get frayed and whatnot. This will not uh, fray. I'll be showing my example of a mat that I've owned for over two years now. This will not uh, fray at all. I'm fairly sure it's machine washable, you know, normal uh, material on the, the back that you would expect. Very thick, uh, Matt. You probably can't see it uh, as well here, but if you look at uh, the card, which is not the best comparison, but if you look at the card, this is an awesome thick mat, so it has some nice uh, weight uh, to it, if you like uh, thicker mats. Me, personally, I do, because it means that it won't uh, damage, it, and the fact that it won't fray, that's an awesome uh, bonus itself. Um, so you can get these uh, mats on uh, the Etsy store, like I was uh, mentioning. Uh, those are the two main things I wanted to cover is uh, the thickness of the mat is uh, probably one of my favorite features. The fact that it's uh, sewn is also, also really uh, great. Um, the company itself, uh, they, they work on making uh, custom mats. They also do uh, custom dice trays, which I'll be featuring here shortly. And they really make sure that uh, the art really pops out. Now, the only thing for this is that I've never made your own play mat. You got to make sure that you provide a large enough image and that whatever colors that you uh, present is what they're going to uh, use. In this case, um, David's art here, very bright, as you can see, it really pops out. And in person, you'll see on the camera, but in person, if you see this mat, if you're ever playing against me, you're going to say, wow, that, that truly does uh, pop out. I want to talk about uh, David's uh, art uh, here. So uh, the thing that he was looking at uh, for doing for this art, so reviewing his art aspect, was that he wanted uh, people to add the name of their favorite deck. So in my case, Ivy Ruby Drag Dreamer. 
I love this deck. It's uh, a raw amber deck. Uh, it has 26 raw amber. That just means on the 36 cards, there's 26. 23 of the uh, 36 cards have 26 amber altogether, which is a very high amount. Um, so you can get your favorite deck and name here. You don't have to. Um, some may think, oh, that's cheesy. Others will be like, yeah, I really love the idea of having my favorite deck uh, on the map. And... Uh, I love his art. It's very whimsical. Uh, like, uh, look at this. He actually has a video, and I'll be linking it uh, below, uh, of how of him making uh, this art. And it's just very fun. I really enjoy it. You, you should really see some of his uh, Star Wars art that he's done. It's just a, uh, it's it's cartoonish, but in a fun aspect of way. Like, it's a cartoon that I would love to watch. Uh, I think the artwork is fantastic. I think the art really uh, pops out here. I think Destiny Inc. Uh, did a great uh, a job. Um, putting uh, the art, making sure that everything is uh, framed right for the mat itself. Uh, um, but uh, look at this, l this little urchin stealing uh, some amber. I love how the amber uh, glows here. Um, one thing that is I'm not a, a huge fan of, and I don't mind uh, saying this, is uh, you know the artist has to get his uh, name out. So his the artist's name, as I said, uh, David uh, here, is just in the corner. It doesn't uh, pop out uh, too much. It's actually nice that... It's uh, just in uh, the corner here, but uh, I wish it was uh, just a little bit uh, smaller. Again, you're gonna have, you're not gonna really notice it like on this mat, it's just over here, but I wish it was just kind of tucked in the corner uh, in the, instead. But at the same time, the artist has to get known, uh, and that's one of the things that artists are gonna do. So, love the artwork. One of the things that if you choose to get uh, mats like uh, this, uh, you can either get a, a blown up image uh, that's this big, or he basically made uh, one piece of art for each of the houses. So you can get um, uh, a smaller version in this like corner over here or wherever side. You, again, it's custom work, so whatever you want to do. And he's uh, talked about this, is that if you have uh, three houses, so in this case, I asked for shadows because it's one of the strongest house for my deck here, as you can see. And um, so I just want uh, the one image. You can get uh, three images. I think one, just having the one pops out more. And uh, just a little bit more subtle, you'll notice that this uh, symbol here is actually the shadow symbol that's uh, in the, the background. I really like that. I love uh, the colors. Again, the colors is of uh, your choice. Uh, I worked uh, with uh, David and Destiny Inc. and I said, hey, I want something representative of uh, Fire Chicken. So we got that uh, flame uh, going on here and you got that nice yellow, nice orange and some red uh, going on. Really love that. It really looks cool. And then uh, to, uh, the icing on the, the cake. And again, this is a bias uh, review, but definitely check it out yourself. The icing on the cake for me uh, is having, a, he did a new artwork uh, for me. It reminds me of like uh, a KFC uh, chicken. So just having uh, some new artwork, put whatever you want uh, here. But in this case, uh, uh, he just did uh, yeah, a new art for my, my channel. Really love it. Thanks, David, uh, for uh, doing that. Let me know what uh, you think of uh, this mat and the idea itself. I think it's a really uh, cool item. Uh, one of the things I want to get into is, uh, again, Destiny Inc. Actually, their main focus is uh, Dice Tray because they focus on uh, Destiny. So this is something that they, they do. Again, very nice thick mat. It's beautiful. It comes in its own tray. Let me grab it here. Uh, so it comes in a tray that it's as extendable, uh, very nice uh, thick tray at uh, no extra cost or anything like that. Almost feels like it's a, an umbrella case. So that really works out well. I don't have many um, play mat uh, protective cases, which I should because I have a ton. But uh, yeah, I think the colors pop out. And uh, before I show the dice tray, I wanted to show you the difference between uh, this. So nice bright uh, colors. And um, I played a lot of Warhammer Conquest, so one of the things I did was uh, at the end of uh, the game, I wanted to make a, a, mat, a tribute mat, so I took art from uh, various uh, things, and I said, oh, I want to make this tribute mat, and here's uh, the difference. So you've got this nice uh, bright colored mat, and then you got this darker, grimmier mat. It's a little bit shinier, just because uh, my light's shining on it here. And again, this mat is, uh, it's about three years old now at this point. As you can see, the edges, there's no fraying of uh, the edges uh, at all. So this really worked out uh, really well. No difference really in uh, color or anything like that. 
there's no damage. You can keep it like folded like this in, in uh, like you can have it rolled up or anything like that. Some mats, uh, when the if they're not as strong, you'll see some uh, damage on them. But uh, this mat's really lasted uh, a long time. I love uh, this mat. All the colors really pop, and as you can see. Uh, this was a high res uh, image I, I took. Made notice like the Dawn of War 3, the Necron, the Sisters of Battle type of thing that I uh, mirror imaged over. Love uh, this mat, but uh, I'm just showing uh, the, the main thing is I'm just trying to show the difference between uh, the two mats and uh, all the colors and all the things that they really do to make sure it uh, pops out. So if you're looking for a company to make a custom mat with, I would definitely check out uh, Destiny Inc. I've uh, and this mat here was before I had my channel up, so this was something that I bought as a, a customer. So this was a mat that I said, "Hey, I actually want to find a company," and this was a company that I researched. So again, take my review with a little bit of uh, bias because it's some a company that I've worked with in the past before I even had my channel. But just looking at the, the mat itself. I'm pretty sure you can say, hey, yeah, that does look uh, pretty cool. If you like Conquest or Warhammer, you're going to be like, yeah, that looks kind of cool. If you're a big fan of um, Keyforge or you've never heard of it, uh, definitely check it out. Check out David's uh, art. It's amazing. He does good stuff for uh, Star Wars as well. And speaking about Star Wars, I wanted to talk about, I also got uh, this little thing. You're like, hey, is that a small little uh, map? Actually, no, this is a uh, dice uh, tray. Uh, these uh, here are actually little magnets. They just uh, click in like so. Uh, very easy to click in. While I'm holding uh, the camera, I can just do this. And I'm looking at the camera. So if I, it takes me a second here, it's just because I'm looking at the camera. Uh, should probably put this down, but that's fine. Fairly simple. One hand, I can do that. And just folds up into a nice little dice uh, tray here like that. So this is very cool if you want to play games like Star Wars Destiny or use it for D&D or any uh, dice rolling uh, game. And uh, it's just a, a nice uh, fold up uh, tray. Take some dice, roll them out, and hey, it does uh, the job. I think this is a super cool uh, thing. It's fairly inexpensive. A lot of people have been using it for Destiny, also X-Wing, anything with dice really, like I said. Just rolling them in there. And the fact that uh, these are all, I'm fairly sure, machine washable. So if you want to put in your, your washer or whatnot, uh, should be able to do that. If you want to just have one side open so that you can see the, the dice easier, you can do that as well. Again, exact same uh, materi material, if I can talk right. Exact same uh, material as uh, the play mat. Uh, same uh, thickness, very awesome. Colors really uh, pop out. Uh, you can put any artwork uh, here if you want, if you want to make your own custom art. I think it's slightly more expensive, uh, or it might be the same price. I would have to double check their Etsy store. Don't worry, I'll be linking it uh, below so you can check it out for yourself. Uh, but yeah, really look at uh, the colors, really look at how that pops out. I love that now I have my own custom uh, dice tray for my channel, so that's uh, super cool. Uh, if you want to fold it as well, say you just want to put it away, you can just do that. And now you can just carry it away. It's nice and all folded. Oh, uh, I didn't click it in properly. If I can do that. So uh, you, you can click in the sides here and they'll do that. And, and fairly easy to un unsnap it uh, there. Um, my only small complaint uh, for this one though is that on uh, the reverse, um, these here, they're a little bit, uh, not. I don't want to say sharp, but if you put it on, my table here, uh, let me move these mats so you can actually hear. If I put it on my table, it, it could potentially scratch a little bit. Uh, not that you would normally have this like this. So you can see here, it's just because of the way uh, the metal clips uh, go in there. I wish there was a, a covering uh, for the back here, but it's probably not something that's actually feasible. So let me know what you think of that. That's my only minor gripe uh, with these though, it's just that uh, the way uh, the magnets are put in, you would never want to like scratch your table just having it on uh, the back. I don't think it's going to do any real uh, damage, but I don't really like uh, the sound of it. So instead, just make sure you keep it uh, nice and uh, clicked up, I guess, or just not have it uh, like that. But yeah, let me know what you think. I think it's a super cool little item here. Nice little uh, dice tray, easily folds, unfolds does uh, the trick 
And yeah, if you like um, any of uh, the stuff, check out uh, more of our, our reviews. Let me know what you thought of this re review itself. Check out David uh, Livin's uh, art that he made uh, here. And again, the art uh, here. He has some very cool stuff. Check out uh, Destiny Inc. And uh, like, subscribe, and uh, check out some more of uh, my stuff. I hope you had a good time. I hope you, you really enjoyed uh, these mats. And uh, let me know what you thought of the review down below. Cheers.